Alrighty, so um, yeah, what should we do now? How about we just um, get this guy to the nearest hundredth? Can you run this guy to the nearest hundredth? Forty-eight point one five six five. Okay. Um, so the, where is the hundredth digit on this anyway? So we got tens, ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Ten thousand. So, tenths, hundredth. The hundredth again is this digit here, five, right? What comes after the five? A six. Okay. So if it's five or more, you got to round up. So we round up, and this five becomes a six, doesn't it? And then of course you just got one, and then you got the rest of the number there, right? Does that make sense? Um, why don't we just go ahead and round uh, this one to the nearest hundredth? Okay, twenty-six point five zero 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 six. So we've got tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. Hundredth is the zero. What comes after the zero? A zero, right? So we got to round down. Ignore that six. That's for you're just worried about this digit here. So then the digit to the right is zero, so we round down, we get zero, and then we have five, right? We have twenty-six, okay? Alright, so um what should we do now? I know. How about um press pause and round these four numbers to the nearest tenth? Okay, press pause and round all four numbers to the nearest tenth, and then check your answer with me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do them really fast, so by all means, press pause and do it. Okay, now here I come. I'm gonna do it to the nearest tenth. The tenths is are the digits right after the decimal. I'm gonna do it now. Okay. So and after so eight is what I'm looking at, and after the eight comes a one, so I round down. Okay. Ten, so this one tenths is the number after the decimal. Okay, so I want four. I, I'm interested in this digit four. Okay. Now after the four comes this five. Now if it's five or more, I round up. So I go round that up to five. So two point five. Okay. Okay, tenths are the digits after the decimal. So I'm interested in this one. So I look to the right of the one. As the right of one, I see a five. If it's five or more, I've got to round up. Yeah, you know, forget about the rest. Of it. The rest of it doesn't matter. Just you're just looking at the one and the five. That's it. Okay. So you round the five up, and that one becomes a two. Okay. And so we got forty-eight point two. And um, uh, the tenths again. I'm looking at the digit five. What comes after the five? Zero. So I round down, don't I? Point five. 26.5. Okay. Okay, now press pause please and round all of these four numbers to the nearest whole number. So just all these four to the nearest whole, right? Press pause. Okay, I'm not I'm going to do it now, so I uh, hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to do it pretty quick. Okay, so rounding to the nearest whole number, I've got a zero in the whole number place or the ones place. After zero comes an eight. So I'm just looking at these two digits. If it's uh, five or more, I round up. So I round the eight up, and then this digit becomes a one. So one, and I don't need to put in point zero or anything. Just one will do. Now two point four five four. Round to the nearest unit. Two. After two comes a four. So I just look at these two digits, and I've got to round down, right? Down to two. Okay. Forty-eight. I'm interested in this 8, and after the 8 comes a 1. If it's 4 or less, I round down, so I've got to round down. 8, okay, 48, 48, right? Okay, units, I'm interested in the digit 6. After 6 comes a 5. So I just look at the 6 and the 5, that's all. Do I round up or do I round down? Which? If it's 5 or more, you round up, so 7. So 27, right? Okay, so um, now for fun we will do 
um, this one to the nearest thousand, okay? Because, um, you know, there's no point doing these guys, what's the point? Th th this one already is a thousand, the nearest thousand. I mean, for fun, well, for fun, you know what? Round this the nearest thousandth, it's already rounded to the nearest thousandth. Because, look, it's tenths, units, thousandths, okay? Round this one to the nearest thousandth, it's already rounded, four, five, four. So if you want to do that, you can. Um, and and uh, actually, just for fun, I guess, 6.55, oh, you know, round that to the nearest hundredth. Sure, 6.55, it's already rounded to the nearest hundred, isn't it? Round to the nearest thousandth, if you want, you can go 6.550 and stick a zero on. So it has a thousand space, right? How about this one? What would you do with this? Round this to the nearest hundredth? It's already rounded. 6.15, right? To the nearest thousandth? 6.150, uh, right? Okay, so anyway, um, we can go back and do the R. You can do the R2 as well if you want. Okay, so anyway, 26.5006, round it to the nearest thousandth. Thousand spot is this zero here. That's the thousand. And after that zero is a six. Okay? If it's six, five or more, I round up. So I got to round that to a one. Okay? That becomes one, then I fill in the rest. The next is zero. The next number is five. I got a decimal point. Then I got a six. And then I got a two. That's the answer. Okay? Round this one to the nearest thousand. I've got ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so nine. I'm interested in this digit nine. What comes after the nine? Three. Do I round up or round down? Which? Do I round up or round down? We've got to round down, right? So that stays as a nine. And then I just plug in the rest. Okay, decimal point, three, right? <coughs> Okay, um, so how is about um, rounding this one to the nearest thousandth? Okay, so I've got ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So I'm interested in this guy. What comes after him? What comes after him is a nine. So I've got to round up. If I add one, what happens if I add 1 to 9? 1 and 9 gives 10, doesn't it? So if that's going to be a 10, um, that will then add, if that's going to be a 10, well I better put 0 down and then I've got to add another 1 to here because that's 10 and 1 in this 9 gives 10 okay and add another 1 to here, 1 in this 9 is 10 and add another one to here, and one in this nine is ten. So finally, at the end, I, it it ends up stopping out because that's okay. I've got ten here, point zero zero. That's kind of a funny one. Basically, if I round up, I'm adding just one little thousandth to this. And if you add a thousandth to this number, that that in effect turns the whole thing into, you know, ten basically. Uh, and it 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 uh, it means that you've got it that that one you get you get uh, another one that jumps in here another one jumps in here another one jumps in here until eventually you get ten basically right hey right, just something to see something interesting so by all means press pause and um no oh, I don't know <clears throat> what should we do next um basically fill out the rest of the boxes um I guess we should um do 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 this this box here next round this guy to the nearest hundredth seems we just talked about it so the hundredth spot is this is tenths this is hundredths okay this nine here so I'm interested in this nine I look at it what comes after it another two nines just another nine so if I round this nine up again it'll be a one here that becomes ten right and then I so I have to add another one to this nine and that becomes ten add another one to this nine that becomes ten that's one point. And then you eventually you get to stop. So rounding to nearest hundred is ten point zero zero. So um what what would you get for this? Round this guy to the nearest tenth. To the nearest tenth. This is the uh, tenth spot, the nine here, okay? And after that there's a nine, so you gotta round up. 
zero and that adds another one so that becomes ten how about rounded to the nearest whole number what do you get to the nearest whole number again you're interested in this nine and there's a nine after it so that will round up and you get ten Okay. so um, just for fun press pause and do these three hundredth tenth and whole number for this number here 3.4993 okay so to the nearest hundredth and remember hundredths are um, we're talking about this red nine here okay that's hundredths what comes after it a nine okay so a nine comes after it so I'm gonna round up but then if I round up this nine then becomes a ten because you add one to it so that becomes a 10 and then that one goes over here and you get a 5 okay so the one's been added that's 5 the 3 hasn't been touched so that's still 3 3.50 okay now try tenths I want to interest and round it up to this 4 here so I'm going to round the 9 up so that becomes a 5 Right? And of course you got 3.5, right? How about the nearest whole number? What'd you get for that? For the nearest whole number? 3 is a, is the U1 spot, okay? And after the 3 comes a 4. So even though this is 993 and it's close to being 3.5, it's not 3.5, it's actually less than 3.5, isn't it? So 3 is a 4 after the 3, and so you round down to 3. So the nearest whole number is rounding to 3. And press pause and see what you come up with with this guy. 99.99. Uh, um, just do it to the nearest... Um, well, all you can do is just do it to the nearest tenth. Okay? Do the nearest tenth and the nearest whole number. You don't have to do these. Okay? To the nearest tenth. I'll do it now. I'll do it now. If, if press pause and try it, then I'll do. It. Okay. So nearest tenth, you're you're talking about this this digit here. Okay. What comes after it? Nine. I've got to round up, so that becomes ten. So zero. Carry the one on. Okay, and then this becomes ten. Carry that one on, and this becomes ten. So ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents rounds to a hundred dollars point zero to the nearest uh, tenth okay uh, now rounding ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents to the nearest whole number what do you think that'll give ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents nearest whole number well let's see this is a whole number the next one is nine rounded up becomes a ten and that puts another one over here and that becomes ten and obviously you should definitely have a hundred because look, ninety nine dollars ninety nine cents rounded to the nearest whole number should be a hundred dollars, right? Yep. And what are we missing? Oh I guess I missed this one. Forty eight point one five six five to the nearest thousandth. Can you do that? This is the digit we're looking at, so tenths, hundredths, thousandths. What comes after the six? Five, so do you round up or down? Out up right so seven and then fill in the rest five one decimal point eight four okay and that's pretty much it um, I guess for fun like if you wanted to do this nearest hundredth you know this one would actually be a hundred point zero zero this would be a hundred uh, point zero 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 so you have a play a zero in place of all the thousands right um, and these, this, this one to the nearest hundredth would just be forty nine point three one, and to the nearest thousandth, forty nine point three one zero. Just so you have a place value for the thousandths. This one would be seven point eight eight, and then seven point eight eight zero to the nearest thousandth. Right.